Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Walkley Wanderers. It's been a long time coming this episode. We've changed the format. I've also got myself a new PC so there's a lot on the go at the moment. There's a good chance mistakes will happen and you know problems are rearing their head every single turn. The footage that you're seeing right now was from a stream a couple of nights ago. I completely scrapped it because I thought the quality was terrible, to be honest. And if I am to stream Youth Squad Legends, I don't want it to have a detrimental effect on the YouTube videos. Couldn't bin it all together because somehow this happened. Oh, Dinkers! Yes! Yes! It's Dexter Judd! He's not here firmly. <laughs> The man scuffed it into the ground! <laughs> I think you've just witnessed one of the greatest moments in YSL history there. He could only score one goal in non-league. In the successful stream, we come back fresh. We fixed a couple of problems, although there is like a clicking sound on the audio that I'm going to try and sort out. I think it's the microphone. Maybe I'll go back to my old snowball for the time being and order a new Elgato wave thing that's come out. And here's the result. Enjoy. Okay, a couple of nights back, we did try this, and I didn't think the quality was good enough to put it onto YouTube as an edited video. So, start of a new season, I've got Summer's National League mod. We did bring in a few players. I think it would be unfair if we didn't take them across. Abbott, Barr, and Habarugira are in the team alongside everybody else that we know very well from the rest of the series. We haven't got that much time because I want to get a video out onto YouTube tonight. The normal streams will have more games than what we are going to do this afternoon. We're going to take suggestions for scouting and we're only going to bring up one player per whatever suggestion it is. So we get more diversity within the side. Thankfully, the three players that we brought in, Gambia, got Rwanda there and Sikits and Nevis. Now we're going to try and search Belarus, Switzerland and Mongolia. That might leave us with less players overall but i can try and tweet the live editor to give us more reports per month now because we're scouting more obscure countries some of the skin tones uh, i don't think are correct if there's any like errors that the game produces i'll try and sort out in between episodes mongolia switzerland belarus let's have a look at the monthly scouting updates try and bring in some new players oh okay the only player above 16 years old is zayat Biogood. fantastic name into switzerland we have a couple over 16 try and find someone here maybe the goalkeeper is probably a good shout erwin charlotte oh in belarus we got a load oh my goodness what on earth happened here lev meshkov <laughs> anybody interesting this guy's got high potential and a high overall could be a left back oleg golovin we'll take oleg gashed oleg oleg's gonna be a 58 out of the blocks we got the goalkeeper erwin and then Zaya by a good. We'll get some English players in as well, just to make sure that we comply with registration rules. It's the first game of the season. It's away against the mighty Barnet. Players will have tucked in shirts. Players will have default boots. They will get sorted in between episodes and in between streams. I've got this controller on a wire, so not everything has been sorted on my PC, but we're getting there. I remember a Swiss goalkeeper that we once had, that yogurty goodness. Lack of movement is very concerning, but we're trying to work it around. No look from Sammy Bird. I don't think I've sorted out the tactics. That might be an issue for us. Okay, they're in the box. This is trouble. They're gonna pull it back. You know that they're gonna pull it back, and that was a great finish. To be fair, not even a good goalkeeper stopping that one. Definitely a bit more competitive here. If we get a youth academy player that has a very bland name, a generic name, then we'll change it up to make sure that they feel unique in comparison to like all the other youth academy players that we've got in Youth Squad Legends history. So Summer's built this National League mod. It is quite exceptional. It's a lot of hard work. There are some problems with it. Most particularly what I've seen is squad numbers. I've seen someone where the number one outfield we move don't we modu ball unlucky pulled it back again battersby excellent stuff by battersby on the line keeps us in this game what a player we got the mongolian winger 
to be bringing off the bench as well. This is Abbott in the box, back heel, Goodson! Oh, it was Sammy Birch there. Break away possibilities, get that through ball right. More Dubar, shocking. We've got 32 players in this squad now, so 20 spaces. Oleg does well. There's a volley there, Joshua Fisher kind of clears. Come on, let's get this ball back and get one more chance before full time. We haven't embarrassed ourselves at all. Oh, it's going to be two. No, it isn't. Shawla there before the attacker. He rolls it out. This has been respectable. Barnet have been us by one goal to nil. Yeah, very good. Very good by our new goalkeeper there. Shawla was decent. Had one of the two match highlights. And the goal that they scored, let's be honest, was a fine, fine finish. My manager's looking like that right now. <laughs> ultimate fashionista you know what i'm saying gold sequins lads we've got a transfer offer for sammy birch coming in from filed 21.5k let's take that and run christy hollison 10.5k from wrexham can be accepted because we've got a new right back in habu regira we're not selling dexter judd walkley Against Sutton Angon, you guys want the uh, lineups for the opposition, don't you? So this is Walkley against Sutton United. Brookside to Modu Bar. Oh, mate, he's terrible. <laughs> Modu Bar is terrible. Every time he's got it, he's lost it. Oh, in this new save, I might not have sorted out the ages of the lads. So that is something that I need to deal with. Oh, what a ball in Charlotte. Great save. Big cross in and Golovin has nailed that clearance. Blocked off by Fisher. Careful. Oh, little ticky tack of stuff in our own box. Chip up. Oh, what a ball. Modu. Abbott's holding it and holding it. There's the ball to Dexter Judd. Very nice. Modu. I cannot have him in my team. Joshua Fisher just fits right in. It's gonna be a point for Walkley Wanderers in their second National League game, but the thing is, there's gonna be nightmares about that miss from Modu Bar. I mean, what on earth have we all just seen? How could that miss not be a match highlight? Ow! I can't believe he's got underneath that ball from a yard out. Chavez's open goal miss is no longer the worst miss in YSL. We can generate new reports and all of a sudden, monthly scouting updates pop up. Hopefully we see a striker in one of these. This is Luxembourg. Alfonso Riez, help. We're signing him up. Anything attack-minded in Scotland, not the goalkeeper. High potential, oh my goodness, look at the potential of Patrick Scott and Patrick Anderson. That is disgusting. Technical ability could be as low as one. I'm actually gonna take the goalkeeper. 98? 98? What? That must be one of the mods messing about with the game. Nicholas Edwards, a central attacking midfield. Maybe we have to play uh, like the Rosenberg Burton formation with one midfielder higher up. 70 to 98 potential. I've never seen that before. Probably never see it again. Alphonse Rees is a striker. Our prayers have been answered. So Rees only has like two star weak foot, two star skill moves, but he'll probably still be better than Modu Bar. What's our next fixture? This is going really well. This is Woking against Walkley. Keep up. Charlotte, oh, that's brave. Not offside again. That's going in. Yeah, front post. Just drilled in there, woken our leading. Got Rees and we got Yates to hit, possibly. I mean, Jason White has to hold this ball and hold it. Oh, the run. Yes, Jason White. Oh, no. Touched by Danny Crookside. Yes, we slipped in it. Johnny Yates. Yes, yes, yes. yes! The washdown Johnny Yates has scored for Walkley. Rees doing... Similar stuff to what Oconquo used to do for Obby Jackers. Just a little turn and a through ball. Jason White's going to try and do a crossfield ball. Oh, Johnny Yates. Oh, it's offside. Johnny Yates turning into Zlatan Ibrahimovic out here. I want to push for a winner, but I also want to try and stay defensively sound so he can at least secure the one point. Joshua Fisher. Not a good clearance. Back heel. They are ramping. Oh my goodness, no, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Shaw has been so good. Damn, that is a poor one to concede. Oh, goalie. Woking have beaten Walkley 
by two goals to one. Yeah, you look at the match facts and you think to yourself, well, they probably deserve it. Loan offer on the table for Jay Waters, which might not be a bad shout. I think this will be the last game of the stream. What a stream it has been. It is Walkley Wanderers against Dagenham and Redbridge. Virgil van Fischer. <laughs> ah, you know what I should do? Because we have competent wingers now, or quicker wingers, we should bring Niall Johnson back into them central midfielder positions because he was doing pretty well there, albeit at a very low level in comparison to the National League. Oh, that's a great ball. I thought he was going to take it on a volley then. Alan... No, oh, that's Fisher. Fisher again. What a player. Virgil van Fisher. <laughs> oh, Fisher's being beaten in the air. Ah! <laughs> you can't do anything about that, lads. Oh, wide. Yes, Pickering on the volley. George Pickering with the first opening for Walkley Wanderers. Drags the volley wide. Oh, that's a lovely finish by Kelly. Going to be 3-0 here. Dagenham and Redbridge really putting us to the sword, or should I say, to the dagger. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Dexter Judd just had a positive run there, and I was trying to do a chip through ball. Yeah, good luck with that. He's probably only got about 25 pace. Albert seems to have the better of this wing back, which could bring about some positivity. Back heel, Reese! Yes! Right then, we have a way of getting back into this game. And Reese scores his first goal for the club. That was coming. A bike heel assist by Dexter Judd. Don't mind if I do. Look backwards. It's a little setup for William Lamptey. Yes, Dexter Judd. Come on. This is going to be more agonizing than the Woking defeat. Just smashing it up there. Oh my goodness, Dexter Judd has done well. That's a foul. It's Dexter Judd. Yes. Onside. Abbott. Chipsy, Reese! Yes! Oh, yes! What a goal! Yes! Smashing, referee, what a game of football! We end it on an absolute banger. I think the away side have no idea what's just happened. They look so comfortable at one point. Jay Waters has been loaned out, which is a good call because Habu Giru is a decent right back. Transfer offer for Kechivos. Off you go. See you in a bit. Enjoy Ebb's fleet, my son. Player of the episode brought to you by Touring Bus. It has to be Alphonse Rees, the new Luxembourg striker. Joshua Fisher was excellent. Golovin was excellent. Charlotte was excellent. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. And I will see you next time.